Ford Explorer. This is a 2006. It has a um, 5R55S or W transmission in here. Let's see here. And the problem with this is it's throwing all solenoid codes. And um, it's in fail safe mode. Now, when a vehicle throws every single code, you have to use some logic. And that is that it has to be something that is affecting every single uh, solenoid, one thing that's affecting everything. Well, what I've experienced after finding out many times, now just pretty much go to it and check it is that the solenoid pack is the problem in the connector here we already have the pack out so look at the pack you can see in here you will see that well you could have seen but it oil ran into it but um, it was corroded in there since I had it sitting under the transmission it uh, that went away but you can see pins missing in there there's three four on this side and there's two missing inside and on this side I believe what well, it looks like one is uh, one is missing there okay okay but this was corroded the oil dropped in it so you can't see the green now but then you but when you look at the harness you can see the harness and the harness is in bad shape there the pins where they go inside the female part no good so this whole harness is going to have to be changed okay so you're going to have to cut this and they have butt connectors you're going to butt connector it together or solder it together okay and then you're going to have to put a new solenoid pack on here all right. Um, I believe Rostra is the one that makes this. Let me see where that pack is. Yes, it, it was Rostra, and it had this. Uh, what is it? Part number here, and it's a repair kit. Comes in a bag like this with bug connectors and a new a new connector with seals. So my recommendation is you do this one by one. Take each wire a loose and put it together one by one because if you cross the wires then you're going to have another problem and you're going to have to try to figure out what wire you cross because it still won't shift right. So you cut one wire at a time. Um, before testing is what led me to this. Now experience put me, uh, take me straight to it now what you have to do when this this pack is up inside and you disconnect that plug one you did you look at the plug see if it looks bad then you may have to you're going to have to take a mirror and put it down on top so you can look down inside the the uh, solenoid pack so you could see if it's uh, missing the pins or corroded in there okay I've come across this many times um, so I expect someone else is going to come across the same thing so you had to drop the valve body not the valve body excuse me drop the pan take the pack off and probably go up with another pan gasket okay it's hard getting this camera in good position but okay you have to take all of the ins the uh, tape off of it you got about 11 wires here um, and then you have this part that's hooked on here. You have to take a little screwdriver and pop this this off right here. Got to pop that off. Reason you got to pop it off because when you get the new when you get the new harness here, you have to pop that off too so you can see what wire goes to what on the inside of here. You don't want to get these mixed up.
you know so this also got to come off here are the butt splices if you want to use those I may use those these time but I don't like doing it I prefer using um, to solder it solder is better connection so I already cut that okay take that off take this tape out of the way Now you can see what wire goes to what. Okay, once again, I said one at a time is better because you may end up one or two or three. I said one at a time. But the reason I said that because sometimes the wires are the same color. You cut them and you messed up. Now, here this is blue with a green. This one here is yellow with a tan or something. This is, this is yellow with a tan. Or, or white. It looks like yellow with a white. You got to know what is what because you cut the wrong thing. This mostly, this here look more like a tan with a white. Um, okay, let me get what I need here. Okay, go back to this here. If you figure that you can remember what wires go to what then you can go ahead and cut them more than one if you don't then it's best to just cut one at a time where do I want to cut these let's see Cut it right there. That's this wire. I'm going to cut this one. Two. Hmm. Okay, it's a purple wire go here. So I can do that one. Three. See, here's another purple with a white right here so you don't want to cut both of these if you do that you may end up crossing these wires so Now, on this new one, you're gonna have to take this cap off also because you gotta see which wires you're gonna be connecting to. And you go by here, you turn this the same way as this is, and you see that you got this first wire, second, and third. So you gotta find it on this one also. So you take a little screwdriver.
and you're going to put under here and pop this up. If you break something, you're going to have to just tap it, glue it back down. You got to take that up. Let me do it here. So I popped it off here. See that? Okay. Uh oh. So, so now the first wire would be this yellow one that is going to it's going to this green with the yellow stripe so the color code is not going to match that's why you have to make sure that you pay attention to where it is on the new one alright so this is this way and we got this one is the yellow one is going to this so let me match up the Okay, I always prefer soldering over anything and I almost always double insulate it with the marine tubing that has glue in it. Reason I double it because I don't want anything poking out. So I I put a small one on that goes over first and then I slide this over it and then I heat that up once I have finished the solder. I prefer soldering. So let me see what we got here. The yellow wire on this one will be the first wire so let's see yellow will go to the blue so make sure that's where it look yep yellow will, so yellow will go here Okay, so once I get this, once I get this in, I'm going to solder that, and then I'm going to shrink tube it, and then I'm going to do the same thing for every other wire, and then I'm going to put in a, make sure up here, this has a lot of dust in here, you want to take some sandpaper, sand it out because this has O-rings that fits in here, so you want to sand this out put some like grease in here or some trans assembly lube or something where when you push this this here in see these o-rings are on here that they slide down oh no I'm sorry yeah when you push in that they slide down and seal properly um, the solenoid pack also have o-rings also so you want this clean and you put the pack up put a new filter in put a new pan gasket on and put this in and then that should be uh, done with the electrical codes that was set okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done it's hard for me to do uh, every single one with the camera on because I am um, it would take long and <laughs> it would be in the way so you know what to do when you have these codes make sure you check them out